What's up, everybody? Okay, me not being the rumor starter and the guy who just goes on the internet looking up ideas. Now, this idea I actually kind of like. Now, last year, I thought The Undertaker was finally done. Now, I'm going to give you my personal opinion on this, on this match. If it happens, um, John Cena versus The Undertaker, career versus career. And it makes sense. John Cena has been losing a lot. He um, lost, he got eliminated from the Royal Rumble. Then he lost the Elimination Chamber. He hasn't done much in a while. Hasn't been champion. Although now he's going to Fast Lane, where he's probably going to lose again. <laughs> a fatal six way. You know, I, can't, I can't believe they put AJ Styles in that kind of predicament. Whatever. But I know John Cena is not going to win. And that's a spoiler for you guys. But, is John Cena the right guy to end The Undertaker's career? Roman Reigns? I'd say no. I didn't want Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker to be his last match. Now, looking at Undertaker's last match, I appreciated it. I thought it was going to be the end. But what gimmick will The Undertaker have now that we saw him kiss his wife and take his hat off and everything and leave? Uh, in my opinion, that was the right way to leave, you know. Bright kayfabe, bright character right there and leave. Now, the story should be John Cena defeats The Undertaker and ends his career and they make John Cena a heel is one idea. Should The Undertaker defeat John Cena and his career be over? <laughs> We've been through this with John Cena and his career ending. Take the, um, the Randy Orton vs. Wade Barrett match of Survivor Series. Free or fired. <laughs> and John Cena helped Randy Orton win. Yeah, helped Randy Orton win, and then he came back a month later and took out the Nexus, if you remember that storyline. I mean, I don't really know what's up for, I don't know what's next for John Cena, for him to be a 17-time champion, defeat the Undertaker at WrestleMania, then become a 17-time champion and prove he's, the, he's held the title the most amount of times, that kind of thing. I'm saying, I like this idea. I just hope it doesn't come up to being so manipulating, you know. The Undertaker's last match. Or John Cena's last match. Most likely The Undertaker's last match. New Orleans, WrestleMania 34. Career versus career. I like the idea. But the, the thing about this match is this will change the face of wrestling in one of their directions. John Cena gone from wrestling, or The Undertaker gone from wrestling. How will it affect John Cena? The Undertaker's already lost twice at WrestleMania. To Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, and now he's going to lose to John Cena. Yeah, lose three times at WrestleMania. It's like now they're using the streak as a way to, you know, build a, build a character within somebody or give a huge push to somebody like Roman Reigns or make Brock Lesnar unstoppable or whatever. They're using a streak to do things, which I don't like too much. But I'm just saying, you know, I like the idea. I don't see the Undertaker winning. John Cena, John Cena will be the guy to end the Undertaker streak. And um, that's all I want to say. But um, give me your thoughts. Have a nice day. And goodbye.